Please offer help. Well, I just wonder. I'm just going through your things at this point. Yeah, sick of it all place tomorrow, I think. Sick of it all? Yeah. yeah. Union transfer. The Union called cool. What is Union transfer? I've not been there yet. Okay, that, that used to be the spaghetti warehouse. Oh, that big yes. place. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know the Dead Heavy show was there. About, well, you're going to do a show about it. I think that's where the Scorpions are playing. I heard Scorpions are Mad Music Center. I see Mad doesn't sound right for them. I, least, I also saw Steve Miller there. That's what's Mad Music Center. What the fuck? I just saw it. I saw Metallica at the Mad Music Center in 94. It was my really? first concert, yeah. It's a really big place. So. I know it's a big place. No. I was surprised the Scorpions. Well, the great thing about it is he has a lawn, and you, the lawn seats yeah. and everything are great there. It's like a mini Susquehanna Center. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going down to do the set. Um, you guys talk about you're going to do some other things. I mean, just... mm -hmm. run. Okay. I'm going to come back in like five minutes, get the food out, then I'm going to go back down to finish. The bathroom is disgusting. I would suggest you use the um, Dutchess if you need to use the bathroom. Either one of you guys sit to a paper around here. So, um, but make sure you close the doors going in and out of this bedroom so that on the pack don't get to come up and down. Maybe you're right. I think you're right, man. Chromag, self defense, stabbing, friend of the feast, lamb of God, fan claims none of consequence, capture, alleged incident. Yeah, I haven't seen any of them. I think you're right. right. Back, Steven Tyler's leaving American Idol job for a cowboy. Brett Michaels, Bob Sears, his Los Metallica's cover, turn the page. I beg to differ. Ted Ibsen joined Sticks on the stage in Bangor. New Queens, no Queens, right? Boy. Yeah, Queensryche's going through a lot of drama right now, but there's not much that can be said. Really? Yeah, they, uh, oh, well, they're, 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 they're kicking Jeff Tate out. Jeff wow. Tate's legally battling for the name. <laughs> and they're, they're talking about, because they, they brought in the new singer that played shows in the name of Rising Red, Rising West. Right. Now they try to grab the name Queensryche, but Jeff Tate's fighting them in court. So he says, so I'm like, I'm not going to let some kid get my life's work. Yeah, no shit. He said that, then they talk about times when he would physically abuse them. <laughs> when he was talking about the time, like, when they were about to start one show, he would start spitting on the drummer, and then he got into like, uh, he started shoving one of the guitarists. Really? Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That is fucking crazy. We never know exactly what's going on. I was never real bad. I was never too big <laughs> into them. I mean, I almost like, whatever. Operation Mind Crime. That was about it. It's about what they had. Mm hmm. Queen of the Rise. Mm -hmm. Yep, Scorpion's tickets are sold out. At the man? Well, it says there's no more tickets available for sale. Uh, what does the man hold, hold anyway? Um, 5,000, 10,000. I don't know, I can find out. Hmm. <laughs> Fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Yeah. Okay, it's the same. Yeah, I'm surprised there isn't more uh, concerts going on there. Because uh, like everything's at Susquehanna. Like, uh, where is? And it has outdoor seating for another forty-five hundred. And a four thousand person capacity lawn. Is that okay. right? No, that can't be the same place. Where is it exactly? I haven't been there since '94. All right, hold on one second. Let me look this up here. Ooh, ooh, I forgot. I got to check. Okay, it has 5,000 covered seats, 4,500 outdoor seats, and 4,000 capacity lawn seats. So that is accurate. Yeah. But where is it exactly? I haven't been there since 94. Um, I'll tell you in two seconds. My daddy man. drove me on that day. I did not drive. I'll tell you in two seconds. Yeah. Maybe three seconds. I was 13 years old. Events, tickets, photos, news, support, about. It's under about. Mm. Contact us. Fifty-seven, fifty-second and Parkside Avenue. It's actually very close to here. Hmm. Yeah. Music Center. 
I guess they're not big on uh, hard rock shows, period. Actually, basically. you could probably almost fucking walk to it from here and about. What? The Man Music Center. Yeah, yeah, right the road. So, yeah. literally right by Belmont. <laughs> but, well, it's right where the Belmont, park is. It's, it's, it's right where the park, miles. right? Yeah, it is where the park. So, yeah. all the way by Montgomery Drive. So, you have about a mile. It's about a mile away. Yeah, you can walk there. Wow. I, I mean, I would, I would, I would walk there from here, but I would definitely park. I know where it's a park in the path, man. Mm -hmm. It's not too much closer than here, actually. So, yeah, you can walk. Yeah. Let's see the photos of the, of the joint. Man, that's remember the uh, the uh, fiduciary person that I want to talk with, Freddie Man Friedman. That's her. That she owns me. Her family is the man, the man family. She's the last living favorite grandchild of Freddie Man. Well, why the fuck don't they put on more concerts there? I don't know. They, I still see Miller there all the time. No, there's always something going on with the man. Yeah, I think they're always. I think they don't. They don't so every, rock every, that. Every often. weekend, every weekend, there's something going on with the man. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's always, there's always okay, it's not tons like of people going there. It's not like there. JFK it's where they. It's Philadelphia Orchestra always plays. That's yeah. their home. Um, you get tons of things like that coming around there. You know, the game and Celine Dion would play there. We're playing well here, you know. Well, I'm going to use this. Yeah. Here you go, I can't Kevin. stand her. I think she's the bomb. This, oh, my God. This pepper steak is so good. It's pretty large. Mm -hmm. It's very large. Uh, the seating, the seating area is large, but, they're, but they've got a, a, a lawn area, which is unlimited. That's what we were just talking about. Which is about. awesome. I mean, that's why going to sit there like this. They said they were saying it holds a little bit over 14,000 yeah. people. That's a lot. Yeah, it's big. How amazing they don't have more events there. Current season. Let's see the current season of events. The events that we hear about. Should Death Cat for Cutie play the last year in the event? That was huge. It's was killing what's about. So what's going oh, here on? Here we go. The Legend of Zelda, Symphony of the Goddesses. Oh my god. Yeah, so they do a lot, a lot of family stuff there. They've got Disney on things there. Disney's whatever, off Broadway. Jane's Addiction's playing there. Yep, that's kind of cool. Yeah, but Jane's Addiction will play there. Fans like that. What My Morning mean? Jacket's playing there. Oh, really? Wow. What are they playing with the dead turkeys? Train's playing there. Mary J. Blige. Yeah, they've had a lot of things to do about. Very rarely you're going to see metal over there. Hey, look, the Disco the Biscuits. The, the Disco the Biscuits are playing there. Disco Biscuits. <laughs> yeah. I saw, I saw Alabama there. I saw Shaw and the Animals. Yeah, October 5th. But how come there's nothing there about the Scorpions? <laughs> yeah. Scorpions, I don't think they're playing there, are they? Yeah. I thought they were playing Electric Factory. No, they're playing the man, right, Kevin? Did they just play Philly last night, though? Why would they put them back? Okay, yeah. I'm, the Scorpions. I'm, uh, I'm, when is it? September? I don't know when they're coming back here, but they just they just played the man. Last night. They just played. They played the last night. Yeah, so I can picture them. Yeah, was it the man music center? Oh my yes. god. Yes. That was last that? night. Yeah, it was last yeah, night. Yeah, I just found out about it today. Yeah, I you guys all night last night. Uh, fuck. Oh my god. Just broke my neck. Mm. Plus, I'm gonna stab yourself. No, plus I was burn myself. I only really know a few. So I only really like a few songs by the Scorpions. Really? Oh, you know, Jay Bueller's the one I was thinking. Of. I think it was. Yeah, Sales of Charon, Alien Nation, why Rocky Like a Hurricane. Why do they play the zoo so much? The song the zoo? Let's see what we have for music news. I got like 12 apps on here for music news. Uh -huh. Let's see. I got blabbermouth.net. You like that works. Uh -huh. All right, so but that's one thing I do want you guys to talk about tonight. I'm going to bring up the topic. Oh, this is the one I I want like. to know the news network. Repeat. You like Metal Sludge, Blabbermouth. I want to go through I don't do thing. Metal Sludge. I, I've only really been there. Yeah, blabbermouth.net has a little bit of that. Uh, well, we're going to talk about everything. that. We're going to yes. talk about that tonight about murder to find news for um, blah blah blah. So I'm going to. Disgusting mess. I can't stand it. You want to play, um, Sean? No, I'm good. The greatest. What does Metal Sludge have on it right now? I know, but that's where we found the murder also. You remember on my birthday that happened? Yeah, he found so out that's what, what uh, so Chris excited. used to write for. And uh, anonymously, however. Charlie Sheen trashes Axl Rose's slash kid star on Hollywood Walk of Fame. Tommy Lee explains his rant on not wanting to take pictures with fans. I don't know that. Sebastian Bach pens open under the skid row in the fans. Let me the fuck back in already! 
Queen's right, just another hair band fighting <coughs> with their singer. Ooh. No, not just another hair band at all. Who said that? Metal Sludge. And I hear it that Jeff Tate wasn't with the Queen's right now or before for a little while. Yeah, I, I can't I, he, see them without it because he's all a band. Right, right. But they, that, that, that's the way he feels. So he's uh, threatening legal action. They said he was like physically abusive to them and everything. They just had to get really? rid of them. Really? Yeah. Also, I hear the last album I did with them was supposed to be one of their worst. Like, I really want to hear it. It pissed people off so much. I want to hear some of that. Yeah, because what, what happened with them was they, you could tell them, probably, probably Jeff more so than the rest of them, didn't want to keep on doing metal. Right. They wanted to move away from that, and they couldn't he's really find... He's Right. He started doing, like, mellower and mellower stuff. Their sound kept on changing, and... Hell, I mean, I don't think they've put out... I don't really follow them. I don't think they've really put out a record the that people like. The Warning was the best like, album. Since, uh, only one, I've, only, I've only bought one album. That was The Warning. The Warning, yeah. That was the best one. It wasn't long after that. Like, Empire was probably... Well, the one after Empire was probably the last one that people really cared about. And there's the one where they went grunge, kind of. I don't know anything about Someone the Someone please let me know how we have spun out of control as the captain let go of the wheel. Sign of the Times. I was actually a hit on 94. Yeah, I don't know that. I only know well, the morning. That might have been the last album they put out that people cared about. I don't know. Slipknot Clown Talks Not Fest. Mm. Not Fest. Oh, yeah, Slipknot. That's where Blue Helix guy was from. I remember I said Blue... I, I can't believe I never heard Blue Helix. Uh, Ted Nugent joins Sticks on stage. Get okay. the fuck out of here. Let's, 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 add some fucking, let's add some poor white trash to our set now, guys. Testament guitarist Alex Skolnick has posted the following message on his official website. It was at an elaborate breakfast buffet in an upscale Manila hotel, I know, what did he do? a courtesy of a F Filipino concert promoter, where I first had an in-depth conversation with Randy Blythe. That's all he said. Oh. <clears throat> and of course, the American Idol dude, he's done, okay. Steven Tyler. He's not going to be an American Idol anymore. Why? I don't know. Because they're on a tour? I don't know. Hey! We're bringing her in as special guest to end of the show. You want me on show tonight? Hello. Hey, what's up? Is Stevie with you? No, he's down home. Okay, no, listen, listen, listen. Will you come on our show for about 10 minutes tonight, the end of the show, to our, our guests? Our if guests, we ever get to shoot show. it tonight, we'll see. I have, to get, I have to get Kevin's plate ready. I time. have to have a show. Oh, that's right. Duh, you have a show tonight. <laughs> I have a show. Duh. Okay, Kevin, dinner so, ready. What's up? Knock on Kelly's door and tell her dinner's ready. Knock on Zach's door and tell him dinner's ready, please. Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie to join force. I know, I saw it the other day. I love it. I, I really, you. really do. I love you. I think you look so hot. Thank you. Yeah, Zach, I won't talk about it either. I can't. I won't get anything with it. I can go in the ocean with it. <laughs> I can sweat the shit out of you with it. <laughs> I didn't yes. hear about that. That the old Cro-Mag, that the old Cro-Mag's bassist was fucking charged with. Tomorrow. I don't know. But it should be washed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. It should be washed. Yeah, I'll yeah, wash it. It was the next wash of a radar. Do you have an extra towel? Then? Of course I do. Good. Because I got a shower. Uh, of course I do. I would have been here two hours ago, but the traffic to get here from Delaware on one. I can't even tell you how many people almost sat in my car today. Nice. I think every two minutes I was like this. Stand on the seat. That's when fucking sunroofs come in handy, you know? You ever see that app on the iPhone for a gun, gun car? I think about going to Mojo tomorrow. It's a car gun. Are you going to go tomorrow? You can, you can actually shoot people with that. Okay, now That's here. Flesh well, Flesh Engine. Yeah, Flesh Engine and Kiss Day are playing there tomorrow. We're going to, well, we're going to see uh, Deanna tomorrow. You know, like, mm -hmm. driving and yours. silly. And I should know that. <laughs> Kelly, this is your player? What are they playing, South Street? I'm going to Rebel Rock tonight, South tomorrow. We're doing South and then we're going to show. Okay. Everybody I know is coming to the show tomorrow. Yeah. Not to Mojo. Co workers included. Mojo. Mojo. Yeah, Dobbs. Dobbs. Dobbs, you're going to Dobbs, free right? Free show, right. beer tasting. Sean. Awesome. Uh, Sean's free admission. What? To Dobbs tomorrow night to see Deanna. I can't. I don't, are you going to um, Washington? No. What? Why can't you go? I, I have no money to go anywhere. It's a free show. I still have to park. <laughs> no, you have to go with me. I don't know. I'll see. Are you trying to replace Jeff Payton? Because I already have. I'm supposed to be doing shit tomorrow. Like what? Like I'm supposed uh, to be doing shit tomorrow. I got nobody. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna do now. I will be ready for you guys to finish eating. Get finish what you're talking about. We're gonna talk about uh, the news network. Of course. I want to talk about what's going on locally, nationally, trends, and then you guys have to be a topic critic. of discussion. Criticism. Of discourse. A good topic of discussion. Cause the topic of discourse, and you need to. If something 
that is an actual topic you're going to stay on. Viral criticism. We're going to be reviewing More different, on the uh, different videos <laughs> next show. I still haven't gotten permission to from the office, but I'm going to still play one for you. We're going to do that just in case. Um, that is, um, is this going to be uh, either the 10 worst death metal videos of all times or the 10 worst death metal? I'm going to pick down. PRP, the gauntlet. <laughs> Ramstein's made in Jersey box set back in stock. Children of Bottom's front man to leave the Bottom. 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 the Weaver. Nick Bottom the Weaver. Now wait a minute. I've got coffee. Where's my coffee? I brought it down. Okay. I'm putting this yeah, in the refrigerator. Yeah. Um, it's KMX. Okay, Would you please bring me down a glass of iced tea and ice water? And which is in here when you come down? Yeah. That's it. Sure, I love it. Okay. Yeah, we're ready for you guys in about 10 minutes. Not even. Should be. The new Randy Blythe news. I'm supposed to give him another bail hearing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. Like I give a flying fuck. I, I could go on about how I think Lamb of God were never any good. Yeah, exactly. I never liked him to begin with. I thought his voice was horrible on the first few records. I thought his voice improved, but the music got worse and more bland. I was just here. Sketchy shower. Uh -huh. I can't shower with the fire. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Black illegal. Where's the god dang outlet? In all fifty states, <laughs> it's illegal to shower Only with fire. Only forty-nine. Ferrets. I bet in Montana anything goes. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I. I know some gay it. people who like to shower with fire. I don't know. Or I'll just work here. <laughs> Puppy's gonna crap herself every time I come here. <laughs> <laughs> Slipknot has announced <laughs> right their first ever Knot Fest. The Slipknot headline two day metal hard rock festival. Slipknot will team up with eventviewlive.com to spread their message. Fourteen ninety five for tickets. It's pretty cheap. No, oh, very good. Yeah. Not Let's see what they say here about it. Cause I'll submit my shit to get put on the fucking festival now. It just came out. Oh, wait. Let's see who's already on it. Here's the lineup. <laughs> well, I know one band that won't be on it. Slipknot, Deftones, Lamb of God. <laughs> yeah, Lamb of God. I've, I've got, well, you don't know. If he if he gets out of there soon, Lamb of God can Could be. Could be. And then, but listen to this, though. Um, Death Clock, Surge, Tankin, Cannibal Corpse, The Dillinger Escape Plan, The Urge, Prong, and Gojira. Okay. Mm. Well. I wouldn't mind seeing Prong, and I wouldn't mind seeing... Uh, I wouldn't mind checking out some of them, but I'm, I wouldn't uh, make an effort. <laughs> wouldn't make a big effort, no. Mm -hmm. Who's Arch Enemy on? Mm -hmm. Some tour that came by here a couple years ago had like Arch Enemy and Rob Zombie and had Lamb of God. Had all these bands I didn't care about or no longer cared about. <laughs> That's almost something to talk about. Like you know, you, you know when you're getting old, when you, when you don't care about any any big things that happened in metal over the last ten years. You know, right? If I, I first started to feel that in like two thousand four, uh, kill switching gate, fuck, a, what? <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> I felt old when Life of Agony first broke up. <laughs> I was like, wow, I. I I remember them when their debut came out. I saw them live a couple times with two different singers. Now, now I, I saw their whole cycle. The thing that bothers me so much, man, mm -hmm. is <clears throat> all these new bands that are coming out that are metal bands have mm -hmm. no fucking staying power. They have none, dude. Mm -hmm. They don't. They're, they're going to be around for like a year or two, and then they're going to be fucking gone. What I was what I was talking about back when I was when I was a college DJ, it was like ninety nine to two thousand three. Right. And that was like during this really boring period in metal. When uh, you didn't really <laughs> There it, wasn't anything going on. No, because all the nineties bands were dying. Mm -hmm. Were dying or dead or looking like they weren't gonna come back and they weren't like the, the new ones like Lamb of God was still kinda unheard of back then. They were still right busting out. Same thing like Kill Switch. Arch Enemy, Shadows Fall, bands I really could give a fuck about one way or another, but they didn't even have like right. a, a big following back then. I remember saying, like, I remember saying on my show, like, Metal right now needs a new Iron Maiden. We need a new band that can put out like five records that people are gonna love. Yeah. Rather than we keep on getting the new Montrose, like the new. <laughs> I know what you mean, dude. Yeah, the new Raven. You know the band like shoulda, woulda, coulda, did it. 
was especially in the 90s because remember that's like Machine Head that's when they put out the Burning Red and fucking Supercharger they're like they were yesterday's news right now I mean I, I love Through the Ashes of the Vampire I didn't care for the other two they, they, they put out I don't really get their appeal but they ended up pulling it together I mean Fear Factory didn't fall off the map but uh, no I'm listening to you man I'm just trying to read these goddamn bitches you have yeah. shit in HD so you can fucking read them uh-oh. I pooped. <laughs> That's awful. <awesome. laughs> yeah. Fucking mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. God damn, what, how many Chuck dates Norris. are they doing? Jesus Christ, one, two, Chuck three, four, Norris. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Ooh. thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. South 15, 15, to go with this food. That's awesome. Eighteen, eighteen is a thirty-six. Sixty. Jesus Christ. 60 dates. They're doing 60 dates in two months. A what? Concert. Tour. Doing 60 shows in two months. Who is? Uh, the Skeleton Witch. This would be a, one I'd like to get condition critical on. Skeleton Witch and Havoc. And actually, I'm friends How with Havoc. How does the Skeleton Witch and Icarus work? Oh, that one. You know, I'm going to talk to Havoc about What, what does Skeleton Witch sound like? Are they... They're Havoc? a thrash band. Havoc as an HIV okay? Yeah. Oh, they're my buddies, dude. They're nice guys. I man. love Jesse. I stayed with Jesse for a couple of nights in the Colorado on my way home to Cali. Yeah, I want to talk to them about when they come around Pennsylvania with Skeleton Witch. And see if I can get conditions. Skeleton critical. Witch? Mm-hmm. I'm modeled for those guys. Did you those really? Three bands. So yeah. Icarus Witch is like the more 80s sounding band. Like oh, some. they're old school fucking yeah. thrash. Those guys are great. Okay, I remember one, one of them was like a fan of my old, old band on MySpace. He was one, yeah. one, of, one of like two or three fans that Skeleton I had. Skeleton Witch. Yeah, someone from Skeleton they're... Witch would, would, would post on our page. Yeah. And, and Cage, it was my other established fan. Those guys are thrashy, but they have more elements of almost like black metal. Oh, just a little bit. It little depends. Bit. Icarus um, Witch? But they're, they're Skeleton, Skeleton Witch, you're talking about? Witch, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. The guy has a voice like this, and he kind of reminds like me of Benji yeah. from, from Goat War, also good buds of mine. Okay. Um, dude, yeah, Dad, talk to them quick, or I'll text Jesse. I mean, how how good terms are you with them? Um, well, actually, our guitar players better terms than me. You yeah. know what I mean? So. Well, I I mean I can text Jesse right at the bassist. I mean, do you know like their names? He does. I don't. Okay. I've just talked to. I've just dealt with them for shows. You know what I mean? Shit like yeah. that. I can help if it comes to <laughs> habit. They're my buddies. Cool. I'll let you know. Please do. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh-huh. I love them. I want to get... They want to play with Mistress. It's just a matter of them being here when I'm here. <laughs> That'd be nice. Let me see if I can pull out the fucking tour mm-hmm. dates for that. She Come takes on. so much fucking time. I explained to her. I'm like, look, I've got till 7.30 and I have to leave. Yeah. And I knew you wouldn't get here till 6.30 or close to it because it works. Yeah. So I was like, well, we'll get here. We'll shoot it. Yeah. I mean, well, you can eat quick, you know, 10, 15 minutes, we'll shoot it and be done. But we're talking, it's 10 after fucking 7 already. Oh. Uh-huh. When do you have to get up for work tomorrow? 3? 3? 3.30. Oh. Well, plus, see, it's not that I even have to go home tonight. I have to pick up my mother tonight. So, like, she wants me to stay till 8. If I do that, my mom's going to, like, hang out there for half an hour. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like... See, that's some, um, it's hard to talk about, but it's like, yeah, the, the 80s thrash bands, they had like, they could put out like three, four, five records that people really liked. Right. Like that, before they, they had to do something different or it got old or they had reinvented whether or not it worked. Then in the 90s, bam, they all, they all, they all went as soon as they, they'll vanish like as soon as they came almost. So they have like, they have like two. It had the two albums, and the the follow up would always be not as good or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it's. I just like I said, I'd love to see bands come out Hi. now. I'd love to see bands come out now that frickin' have some staying power to them. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired of seeing a band come out for two well, years and just drop. I guess that's kind of what happened to Shadows Fall, right? They're still torn, but yeah, they, not, they, they, they haven't had any big hits. No. No, no. They had they had one album was an actual hit. And then after that, they they, they, they kind of vanished. But Lamb of God, they've had staying power. Like they're they had a bunch of albums in a row sell three hundred thousand. Why? I don't know why either. But that's because I'm just I'm just so much better than everybody else. I know what's <laughs> good and what's not good. So other people aren't as intelligent as me, and I figure that's the reason why Lamb of God have a following. Yeah. And back to shut the fuck up. God, there was so one of her friends, uh, uh, put, one of Becca's friends, put up put up on Facebook the, the girl that, that Becca doesn't like, Jen Hiller. 
she oh, put yeah. up something on, on, on Facebook. She put, posted one of Lamb of God's songs. He has this riff that went. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Fucking first song on Far Beyond Driven by Pantera, Strength Beyond Strength, had almost the same riff. Right. Rewind. A couple years before that, Man of War put out that horrible album, Triumph of Steel. Right. The only good song on that album had that riff, Ride the Dragon. And there's a hardcore band called First Blood who also stole that riff or some point on it. By the time, so man, they, like, yeah, so they got, like, Lamb of God, they even take sloppy seconds. But you know they took sloppy force. But what's so funny is, I mean, when I was younger, there'd be bands that I would hear and I would just want to follow them. You know what I mean? A lot of stuff I hear today... I just can't see myself being that dedicated to them. Right, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, I want to make it look like no, everybody else's fault. I think that. it's my fault. I think it's me just sucking as I get older. Well, no, apparently yeah. people are thinking like I am because look at the fucking turnouts. Look at the turnouts even for or, for fucking a good concert. I mean, for, for bigger uh, name acts. I, all, all I know is, again, Lamb of God is selling 300,000 copies of records that I think are second generation... Uh, garage band shit so apparently there's there's still people out there doing it and Dr Dragon Force Dragon Force can play Electric Factory even though they've just been redressing their first album over and over again and just mm -hmm. making it worse and worse every time wow. from what I've heard I mean they're, they're they're not even a joke anymore they're not even calling them a joke would be an insult to jokes <laughs> I don't know I, don't know I, I can't <clears throat> play that fast but yeah I mean there, there, there is Turnouts, serious people getting turnouts. I, 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 I just don't get it, <laughs> and that's almost stuff to talk about. That's somewhere you can utilize the fact, <laughs> you know, that, that that's what this show is. It's just a bunch of t t guys <laughs> talking about <laughs> the things we guys. get we don't fucking get. I mean, that's sort of what <laughs> it's just internet critics. Internet well, let me ask you this: We're all that's the theme song. But see, when they selling three hundred thousand albums, they're selling them in South America. They're not selling them to no. the United States citizens. No, that, that's what it's that's what it's scanned in the U.S. That's in the sounds. U.S. Mm -hmm. They scanned for three hundred thousand. What for the first for the big record they sold? Lamb of God had it. You go on Wikipedia. They list their U.S. sales. Right, right, right. They had like three albums. Sound scan. That's just U.S. Sound scan for the for the U.S. Right. And the three and the uh, like that like the three albums get over three hundred thousand. It's on Wikipedia. Three albums did over three hundred thousand. Yeah, each? exactly. Each. Yes, each one. So basically, they are they are what Pantera was when I was growing up. Like they are going the equivalent of golden platinum every time. I guess so. I you guess remember so. he said like uh, he he had to pay two hundred thousand dollars for bail, and he said that's his annual income. Randy Blythe said that. So that shows you they're making very good money. They're. Well, they're selling a lot of merchandise too. Yeah, they're, they're selling merch, and they're selling even now. They're having the uh, all, all, almost gold records, meaning that if, if people bought records, well, like who they else used to, besides Lamb of God do you think sells like that? I would never guess Lamb of God sold like that if I didn't look at their right. account. Um, trying to see what's up. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know how long ago Cr Cradle of Filth might have finally vanished for. No, no, I, I don't think they could. But still, I don't even think you know what. I don't even think Lamb of God will be around in two more years. Mm, I, I think they might come out with other albums, but I don't think they're ever going to keep continue selling like mm -hmm. that. Right, like uh, I just can't see it. D <clears throat> Dillinger and uh, D D Dillinger will get like uh, eighty thousand, something like that. They got like a nice. That's a lot of albums yeah. for a metal band. Uh huh. A lot. I mean, Overkill's new album came out. They didn't even sell for thirty five thousand records. Overkill again, but they're a band. I, I gave up on their new new material in two thousand three. <laughs> right. right. Well, see, I can't stand unintelligible shit. That's mm -hmm. what I can't stand anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't. There's too much of it. It's so oversaturated. Yeah. You don't even know. You don't even know who the fuck's what anymore unless somebody's mm -hmm. telling you who it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I got. If I have to hear like one more core band screaming. It's like, come on, cut me fucking break, really? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, 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 that shit is fucking garbage, but again, people are liking that. I think the other problem is like, uh, it gets split into atoms. I and can't Adam's splitting, Adam's splitting, Adam's splitting, Adam's splitting. Right now, we're down to subgenres of subgenres. We're just ridiculous. A band I always hated. And half the bands don't even fucking know what their genre's supposed to be. That's what mm -hmm. pisses me off. They'd be like, oh yeah, we're a thrash band. No, you're not. <laughs> you're, a speed man. you're a speed metal band. You're not a thrash fucking band. You know, you're, you're, you're the more difference of like, between thrash metal and speed metal. 
you know, like a punk metal band or some shit. You know, mm-hmm. there's a difference. I mean, it was. I mean, it was created from like you know the hardcore and, and punk genres and everything else, but mm-hmm. still. It's like, Jesus Christ, really? I mean, I can't stand that when bands can't even fucking figure out a genre. Mm -hmm. Or the genre they pick is the wrong fucking one. Unless the genres just are changing. Like like whatever definition is of thrash metal is completely changed now. Well, I think if anything, the problem is that it it, it stuck too close to what it had to be in like 1987. Because that's, no no offense, Mr. Condition Critical, but that's what all like the... The thrash metal revival bands are basing it on like thrash. When I was growing up, I remember thinking Pantera could kind of be thrash, like a new take on thrash. That's what I thought of them. Pantera, Pantera was more like a, a it's like a, a southern, really heavy fucking metal band. Mm-hmm. Pantera was. I saw Pantera when they came out and were posers, stuffing their pants with fucking socks. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Club. When they would do that with their first album, Daughters of oh, the Queen. On. When they had Terry, saw, what, with Terry Glaze them. singing, or what uh, when they had Phil. I can't remember who it was with. It was so fucking long ago. Yeah. But then I saw them with Phil at yeah. the Empire Rock Club. Like, it was within, like, two years, I think, of, it, of itself. Mm-hmm. Because the, the, it probably was with the old singer. Because the first one, I was like, who are these fucking faggots? Yeah. And then I come back, and they're like, oh, Pantera's playing here again. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not going to see that shit. Yeah, like, and then the all of a sudden, they came out with fucking Cowboys from, Hell, right? Cowboys from Hell. And we're all going... What the fuck happened? It was probably Phil and Selma both times. They did, they, 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 they might the have four, been then. Four albums they disowned. The fourth one had Phil singing called Power Metal. It's actually very good. Yeah, no, it was good stuff. But yeah, it's, it's a, the, the fourth album was more Judas Priest. The first three albums are like a really bad Van Halen Cinderella. The, first, <laughs> I know. the old singer was, was terrible. Like, okay, he could hit the notes, but he had the most bland vo- <clears throat> uh, voice. Terry Glaze was his name. You don't see him push those albums anymore, do you? Uh, they they disown those albums. To play. Okay, well, well, my friend saw them touring behind Far Beyond Driven. They played one song from it. Right. They played the only good song off I Am the Night, which is the only album I have with Terry Glaze. Okay. There's one kick ass song called Valhalla, which is like really heavy. But it was, it was the closest thing to Thrash they had on that record. That was a. Valhalla! Blind Guardian? Blind Guardian? <laughs> that was what? Pantera said? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, wasn't sure, I wasn't sure who you were talking to. Val, Valhalla, I'm talking about the song that Pant, Blind Guardian did do a song called Valhalla around that time. Valhalla, deliver us. I'm the garden of the room. Yep, I, I'm talking about the one Pantera did. This is the one. And uh, right, around the same time, it was with, uh, right before Phil joins with Terry Glaze singing. Pantera did a song called Valhalla? Uh, well, I mean, it, it's a generic name. Okay, he's playing it right now. The, This is it. But this is before all the heavy Pantera shit. Like the yeah. There's some Terry's voice that comes in. It's coming up. <laughs> if you would play this for somebody who just knows the new Pantera, yeah. he said, Do you know who this is? They'd be like, yeah. No. They had no, they had no clue. So yeah, you, you would have no idea. And the album after this is sort of a transition between this sound right. and the thrash stuff. Well, the album like, after this is again called Power Metal. That's a, it's, it's a very good record, better than Trend Kill. I thought still kind of, kind of hit and miss. Oh, Has boy. a song Pussy Tight '88 in it, but no, oh, but, uh, yeah. On. You ready? What song is this? Let me if you know. Oh Jesus! If I show, if I show Deanna a picture of this, she's gonna be like, no fucking ways. Play, play it, play it, play it. This is Pantera, right? Yeah. That's Pantera. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what song is this, though? I don't know. I have to look. Oh, okay. Oh, this is Power Metal. Yeah, this okay, is this, this is what Phil's singing. Yeah. You can tell that's Phil singing. Yeah. He's so... Look at him. I, I own the record. <laughs> I picked, really? I got it on mail order for $28.97. No shit. And best 28 bucks I ever spent. But yeah, you look at... Well, I was saying right then, you can tell how much they improved, not just style-wise. Oh, yeah. Phil's got such a better voice. He's like so defined. That oh, guy geez. was... Jesus Christ, here's an old one. Hold on, wait. Okay. okay. Ride My Rocket was a funny one. No, no, okay. Yeah, Metal Magic. <laughs> yeah, I know all this stuff. The funniest song they did back then was Daughters of the Queen. It was the worst song they would ever record until War Nerf. <laughs> Daughters of the Queen, <laughs> please come out and play. The old Pantera Deanna sounds so much like Cinderella, it's ridiculous. 
It's like Cinderella meets Van Halen without all this the... This is fantastic.